would like to mention that how and which kind of challenges I had to face as a blind person and as a Christian, as a member of a Christian community in Pakistan. As a blind, it was difficult for me to get acceptance in society. It was also difficult for me to get education in a proper institution where I can get education of the relevant Braille and other things. Uh, there was an issue of the Braille books because while studying I had no books and I had to depend upon others. Uh, then of course there was a financial issues there. There was mo issues of the mobility, how to go around because uh, uh, the society of Pakistan, we don't have infrastructure where a blind person can move along and we, have no, we had no such training in those days. So it, mobility was one of the issues, financial issues were there. And uh, uh, even the families of the person with disability or who are uh, any kind of disability, even they are blind, uh, they don't want, they don't, they want to hide them. They don't want to show off uh, these people in the society. They don't want to come up in the society. So there was a social stigma in the beginning uh, associated with my family, but thanks to my grandfather, who presented me openly everywhere, who helped me to get education right from Karachi to Ukada near Lahore, which is uh, thousands of miles away from my, uh, from, my, from my town. And then he made me independent. So as a Christian, uh, right from the very beginning, I, I observed discrimination. Uh, if you are identified with your name, Savir Michael, so I, from that point in time, you, the discrimination starts uh, until the unless people don't know that you are Christian they help you they do everything with you but since then the, as long as they know that you are Christian it becomes difficult for you to, to, to live with them or they don't want to uh, cooperate but exceptionally you may have some friends and relatives and others who help you out but generally speaking the discrimination is quite common issue with the religious minorities in uh, in Pakistan and I have been observing it since long past. Uh, I think uh, lack of opportunities uh, for the blind people is one of the uh, problem that I faced. I personally have considered opinion that uh, perhaps the, the state or the institutions they want to develop, the, let the minorities develop up to a certain level. And uh, especially when there is a matter of uh, matter between uh, matter matter of giving benefit to any person belonging to minority against the majority, of course the preference is given to the uh, majority people. So uh, lack of opportunity is there, and extremism. Uh, with the passage of time, it is increasing, and I think it 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 affects me individually at family level and at community level because I feel all the time under threat and under surge of serious uh, extreme uh, pressure of the extremist. As an academician also, as an active human rights activist, I always feel threatened because uh, when you work at national level or international level for the human rights, your life is always at the stake. 